Romero is going to unveil a special plaque of remembrance for, for the occasion uh, here today. So, first and foremost, I'd like to welcome our superintendent, Joseph Gannon. Thanks, Stephen. Uh, Lord Mayor, uh, Assistant Commissioner uh, Orrin McPartland, Assistant Commissioner John O'Driscoll, uh, Chief Superintendent Aidan Reid, uh, distinguished and honoured guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's my great pleasure to welcome you all here today to Pure Street Garden Station uh, to commemorate uh, an historic event to today, uh, the 7th of April uh, 2019, commemorating the 7th of uh, April 1919, which marked uh, the first clandestine visit by Michael Collins to Pure Street Garden Station. Now, um, we uh, have amongst us uh, eminent historians uh, and academics who are going to give a narrative uh, of what the purpose of those visits were and so forth and the activities that were going on at that time uh, who will be speaking to us in a short while. So there are other people uh, in the audience as well that I just want to mention and uh, give a special welcome to. Um, I see uh, Norone. Who's a relative, of course, of Michael Collins and her sister Mary, she's here uh, with her brother, brother and son, uh, former government minister and the uh, minister for justice. And there are hands in this uh, station, uh, more uh, a lovely picture of the new uh, uh, opened uh, Pierce Street Garden Station after its refurbishment, I think, in around 1996, 1997. Uh, I also want to welcome Alice Lee here. Uh, who is uh, director of the Alice Leahy Trust in Bright Road, who uh, and does tremendous work, uh, very renowned uh, with the wonderful in our society, and who is the beneficiary of a book that was written here uh, on Pier Street, Pier Street 100, which commemorated the centenary of the opening of the Garden Station in December 1915. Um, uh, we're very fortunate uh, in our society that we have people that are very interested uh, in uh, the preservation uh, and the recall of history. Um, and uh, I also <coughs> note amongst us here today is Miles Duncan, whose history show provides uh, a great entertainment during the, the rock drives home uh, in traffic in the evening. Um, very good program, uh, Miles, and uh, I'm tempted to have a petition signed today uh, to to, RT to, to uh, make your program more frequent and more prolonged. <laughs> so well done on that. So uh, to mark the history, um, I should say as well that our Assistant Commissioner John O'Driscoll uh, is a blood relative of Michael Collins. His grandfather uh, was the first cousin of Michael Collins. And of course, no Rowan and Mary Benatti and, and uh, brother and son, uh, of course, direct uh, bloodline as well to Michael Collins. Uh, the preservation of our history, if we don't know where we came from, we don't know where we're going. And uh, it's so important uh, to mark and commemorate uh, historical events. And uh, this is the latest in a series of events now uh, since the uprising of 1916, uh, 2016, uh, celebrated and commemorated uh, uh, two years ago. Uh, very important and very important to uh, leave a legacy for the current and future generations of what the landscape was like back in those times, um, how life was, and uh, all the various um, issues that were going on at that time uh, in the prelude to the formation of the Democratic Constitutional Republic of Ireland, which we have today. And a hundred years on, I think it's fair to say that we've come a long way uh, to the point of being a very <coughs> significant contributor on a global scale. Uh, we've an awful lot to be proud of. Um, now, uh, I think that is about it. I'm going to leave the narrative and the details uh, to, to our academics who will be speaking and following. <coughs> so, uh, after the speeches and so forth, um, uh, the Lord Mayor will uh, be asked to reveal a plaque on Tom's Inn Street, Tom's Inn Street uh, just beside the door, the actual door, which is the original door uh, where Michael Collins would have entered uh, on those clandestine visits uh, up onto the, the first floor uh, to meet uh, a man who's 
detective sergeant here at the time, um, moved out to Dublin Castle, uh, down in charge of the CID, uh, Ned Broy. Uh, and Ned Broy, of course, went on to become the third commissioner of the uh, Royal uh, in 1933. Uh, and we're very privileged uh, to have answers <coughs> today also his, his daughter, Anya. You're very welcome, Anya. And, uh, Thank you so much uh, for lending us uh, some of the artefacts uh, from your late father, uh, which are on display down at the back of uh, the room, uh, in cabinets there for you all to peruse and examine and look at uh, throughout the course of the afternoon. So for the moment, I'll leave it at that, and I uh, hope you all have a very enjoyable afternoon with this. We're so delighted to have you all here. Thank you very much. <laughs>